Hi everyone, welcome to a new video in GIS and RS Solution YouTube channel. Today we are gonna perform how to calculate volume of reservoir or lake or any water body using ArcGIS. Hope you will enjoy. So you can see over here uh, area of interest. And now I will add band 3 and band 5 for calculating NDWI as uh, we need water body so after adding a band 3 and band 5 here is the formula for NDWI calculation just go to special analyze tools and here go to map algebra and raster calculator and after that click float and as per the formula band 3 minus band 5 divided by again float and then band 3 plus band 5 and output raster you can rename it and click ok yeah i'm deleting this file as i don't need these files anymore and here is the total ndwi ay i just i'm just changing the color outline color for area of interest and then go to extraction extract by mask as i want the particular area of interest just input raster of or feature mask data will be aoi and then okay and here is the ndwi for my area of interest I am removing that file. You can change the color. And again, go to Map Algebra and Raster Calculator. And now, float, then NDWI output file, and then, yeah, point 0.1, output raster, and click OK. yes uh, you can change the color zero means other land use category where one uh, it is only water body you can change the color okay and then conversion tool uh, raster to polygon i'm going to convert the raster file to polygon file okay yes and hollow outline color red outline width and then okay the blue portion is the water body and here is the polygon file and start editing i'm just deleting the other land use uh, part other than uh, water, water body anyway i'm just selecting the file that i want to keep water body and then uh, go to open attribute table and then yes select and removing just keeping the selected file
uh, changing the color. Just uh, open attribute table and I can see and then uh, stop edits and then go to here and add field and name will be area type double and then click ok and right click on area and then calculate geometry yes and uh, GPS coordinate system and then you need to uh, I'm selecting square kilometers and then yes and we we can see here the area, total area right click and if we go to statistics and then we can see here a maximum minimum sum and mean value and uh, i'm adding digital elevation model for this study area and if we uh, check if we check the coordinate system then we can see here yes the coordinate system in utm zone 46 north and if we check for dam then we can see over here it is in uh, wgs 1984 datum so we need to uh, we need to change the coordinate system and make it similar for both files and for that go to data management tools and if we go to uh, here we will find projections and transformation option you can uh, convert you can change the projection, projection system from here or you can change it from the search option if you go to search option and then write project raster and then you will find this option project raster and then click here and input raster will be dam and output coordinate system that will be utm zone 46 north and click ok yes i'm deleting that file and and then again i'll go to search box and then write surface surface volume and search and then you will find search uh, surface volume from 3d analyzed and then input surface will be dim that uh, we projected and output uh, file go to the folder where you want to save your output file so I'm, I'm i'm going to the folder where i am saving the file yes it will be volume of river and file name uh, i'm going to rename it as surface volume and then click save and reference plan it will be below and then click um okay so after that uh, you will you will get this file and if you if you go to the attribute table then you will find here the uh, output plan height reference area 2d area 3d and total volume so i think it's pretty easy